The Adventures of Superman, Batman's Great Mystery, Chapter One. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to t- leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, came to Earth with amazing physical powers, far beyond those of mortal men. And who disguises Clark Kent? Mild-mannered reporter for the great Metrotolian Metrotolian newspaper wages a never-ending battle for truth and justice. When Clark Kent, who is really Superman, received an urgent phone call from Robin, the younger companion of the famous Batman, he hurried to the handsome mansion, which the dramatic duel occupied the true identities of Dick Grayson and Bruce Wayne. Kent found young Grayson greatly agitated, just as Kent closed the door behind him. The youngster choked, choking back tears, exclaimed, Robin, Batman's gone, Mr. Kent, and I'm afraid we'll never see him again. Robin, oh gosh, what will I do, Mr. Kent? What will I do, Kent? First thing you must do, Dick, pull yourself together and tell me exactly what happened. Robin, I can't. I'm so worried I can't even think. Kent, nonsense, you've got to. Now, come on, son. What did you mean when you said Batman was gone and never see him again? Robin, well, I mean, he's gone forever. Kent, forever? He's not dead, is he? Robin, I'm afraid he is. Kent, why do you say that? Robin, because he told me before he went away. He didn't come back within a few, within a week. I didn't hear from him. You'll probably never see him again. Kent, how long was that? Go was that, Robin? Exactly twelve days ago, Kent. I see. Did you tell him where he's go- where he, he was going? Well, no. I uh, no. I asked him, but he said he couldn't tell me. Kent. Well, it's rather unusual meaning for Batman for not not to tell you, isn't it? Robin. It's the first time it happened ever happened. Kent. Mm, did he give you any idea at all why he was going away? Robin. None at all. He just told me. There's something very important that come up, something he couldn't tell me about. But Kent, that's odd. Robin, then he said he wasn't back inside a week. He'll never come back. Now I'm scared, Mr. Kent. Kent, ah, take it easy, son, take it easy. Look, were you and Batman working on any particular case when he went away? Robin, no, for once everything was nice and peaceful. Kent, it was, huh? Robin, yes, that's why I can't understand it, Kent. Hmm, did you question Alfred your butler? Maybe Batman did say, did said something to him. Robin, no, he didn't. I've, I asked Alfred. Kent, what about the police? Did you call Inspector Henderson? Robin, not yet, because I kept hoping Batman would show up. Kent, I see. Robin, besides, he always told me if I ever was in trouble, he wasn't around. I was to call you. Kent, well, obviously he knew he was going into something dangerous, or he would have said that, what he did. But what gets gets me is that he didn't leave some clue for one of us, just in case. Well, and you think he'd do that? But I know he didn't because I can't wait, Dick. Do you know why a Batman keeps his private papers? Well, yes, in a vault in the bedroom. Why? Kent, do you have a key to the vault? Well, I mean, it's a combination lot. I know the combination. Kent, good. Let's go up to this vault. It's possible we'll find a clue there. Kent, well, we looked at everything except Batman's will, Dick, unless there's something in that that gives us lead of me. I'm stumped, Robin. Might as well open it and see, Mr. Kent. Kent, well, I suppose so. Well, here goes. It's very short. Brian Bruce Wayne, being a sound mind, declare this has been my last will and testament. Lists several charities and he leaves a lot of money to bequeath the bulk of my estate to my friend Richard Grayson. That's you, Robin. Look, are you sure there isn't anything else in his will? Kent, no, nothing that would give us a lead. Robin, oh gosh, where would he, what would we do, Mr. Kent? Kent, I don't know. Somehow this doesn't add up. Dick, I'm sure Batman would have walked out knowing he might never come back without leaving some tiny hint. Wait a minute. Maybe he couldn't, didn't have time. Robin, didn't have time. Kent, look, were you in, were you, where were you in Batman? I mean, Last time you saw him, 
Woke me right here. I was asleep in my room. He came in and woke me up. Ken was alone. Well, I mean, sure. Wait a minute. I was really upset. I forgot about it. But Ken, forgot about what? Well, I mean, I think there's somebody with him. Somebody was standing right outside my door. Ken, can you remember who it was? Robin, well, it was too dark to see well. I think it was the same man. Batman was talking to me in the study. When was this? Robin, well, early in the evening, some man came to see Batman. He took him into the study downstairs. Ken, I see. Did you get a look at him? Robin, well, no. He was really I was getting ready for bed when I heard the doorbell. Batman let me him in. I heard it, their voices in the study. Ken, did you hear anything they said? Robin, no, the study room was closed, you see. I'm pretty sleepy, so all I heard was the murmur of their voices. Can I see? And then Batman disappeared that night? Robin, yes. And now I was sure that man, whoever he was, was some standing right beside my bedroom door. And Batman said goodbye to me. Ken, and that may be why Batman couldn't tell you any more at that time. Robin, that's right. Ken, of course, come on. Dick, let's go down to the study. I want to have a look around there with you. Kent, any luck, Dick? See anything odd and out of place? Well, no, Mr. Kent. Can't find anything in the room that wasn't here before. Kent, I can't make this up, add up, Dick, because I'm sure Batman wouldn't have walked out without leaving us some hint. Wait a minute, what's this? Robin, oh, oh that's our recording machine. We use it to record important phone calls, some special radio programs. Kent, I see. What's the last? When's the last time you or Batman used it? Do you remember? Robin, sure. The time we were trailing the Umbrella Man. Kent, oh, Robin, we expected him to call up and try to do, make a deal with us. He did. A recording of his phone call helped to send him to jail. Kent, yes, I remember a story. It was several months ago. Robin, yes, yeah, I guess so. Kent, well, must have used it since then. You must have used it since then, Robin. No, that was the last time I remember because I put a new spool recording wire on the machine just a day or two before Batman disappeared. He had no no occasion to use it since, Kent. Well, there's something recorded on the new wire, Dick. Robin, huh? Holy smokes, it is there. Kent, "Uh uh-huh. This may be just what we're looking for, Robin. What do you mean, Mr. Kent? Kent. If the wire was blank a day or two before Batman disappeared, and now there's something we recorded in it, it may mean Batman used a machine when he was with the stranger on the night he disappeared. Well, you mean Batman might have recorded something, a machine to tell us where he went? Kent, could it be? Let's play the recording back and find out. Eagerly, Clark Kent and Dick Grayson prepared to play back the recording. Adjusting machine, Kent calls out. Kent, okay, Dick, turn it on. Robin, right, Mr. Kent, here goes. Wayne, on the recording. That's that's a strange quest, Mr. Uh, Jones. You said your name was? Robin, that's Batman, Mr. Kent. Jones, recording. Jones is right, Mr. Wayne. But strange or not, I insist you come to my place for me, with me now to discuss the matter. Kent. Is that the man you heard with Batman that night, Dick? Rowan, ha ha. Rain, recording. Why? Why can't we discuss it right here? Jones, recording. Because I explained before. I prefer to discuss such an important matter in my home, own home, or some neutral place, if you prefer. Rain, recording. You think I might have been, have spies around here? Jones, let's just say I prefer not to take chances. Rain, Recording, I see, Robin. What are they talking about? Kent, quick, Dick. Dick. You'll find out. Wayne, you amuse me, Mr. Jones. You don't want to take chances, but you don't hesitate to ask me to take them. You come here with some cock and ball story. Jones, recording, it's not a cock and ball story, Mr. Wayne. I told you the truth. Wayne, recording, maybe and maybe your name is Jones. But you must admit it sounds pretty fishy. I mean, telling me as little as you have and then ask me to go somewhere with you alone. How do I know you're not leading me to an ambush? Jones, recording. Why should I? Wayne, recording. Well, I'm pretty rich, you know. May have some ransom idea in your head. Robin, gosh, listen. Jones, recording. That's sheer nonsense, Mr. Wayne. As you find out, we waste time. 
Will you come in to come to my place? Wayne, calling. Sorry, Mr. Jones, I'm not a coward. But if I am a fool, you will have to tell me more. Jones, recording. And if I refuse, Wayne, recording. I won't. I don't go with you. Jones, recording. I think you will, Mr. Wayne, because I think you don't. Wayne, recording. Then what? But Jones, recording. I shall have to be compelled to reveal to the world that you, Bruce Wayne, are Batman. Wayne recorded. What's that? Robin Christopher Columbus. Great, Kent, Great Scott. Jones recording. Yes, Mr. Wayne. I publicly reveal that you, Bruce Wayne, and the famous Batman are the one and the same. Shot Clark Kent and Great Grayson stare at each other. The wonder is May. The recording completes its playback. Who is this mysterious and frightening Mr. Jones? who somehow discovered the secret Batman's double identity. The secret Batman cherishes as much as Clark Kent guides his own identity as Superman. What has happened to Batman? The Adventures of Superman, Batman's Great Mystery, Episode 2. Insisting that he was unable to explain, Batman told Robin, his young companion, he was going away. He added that he would fail to return after one week. Robin might never see him again. When twelve days went by, Robin failed to return. Robin summoned Clark Kent, who is really Superman. Together he's searching for a clue to Batman's disappearance. And then in the recording machine, Kent discovered a wire recording of a conversation between Batman and a mysterious man named Jones. Jones recording... I think I do as I say, Mr. Wayne, because if you refuse, Wayne will call him. Yes, I, if I refuse, Jones will call him. Then I will reveal to the world that you, Bruce Wayne, are Batman. Robin, holy smokes, Mr. Kent. Did you hear what that man said? Kent, yes, I did. Robin, he knows Bruce is Batman. Kent, so it seems. Robin, how did he ever find that out? Kent, I don't know, Dick, but it appears that somehow he did find it out. He must have used the information to make Batman go away with him. And the fact that he exposed Bruce's double identity if he didn't. Robin, right. But who is he? How did he find out Bruce is Batman and where did he take him? Kent, we got, you got me. All we know is a man's name is Jones, or is it? Robin, who knows? And even if it is, it's a pretty slim clue. There are only a couple of million people named Jones, you know. Kent, yeah, I know. Robin, so where are where are we? Kent, no place yet. Look, do you mind if I play this recording once again, Dick? Robin, no. What do you expect to get out of it? Kent, well, there is something vaguely familiar about the voice of the fellow Jones. Robin, gosh, do you think you know him? Kent, not sure. I think I heard his voice before. I'm going to start recording anyway. Please don't say anything until it's over, will you, Dick? Robin, I think I'll make it like a clown. I'll make it like a clown, Mr. Kent. Kent, okay, good. Here it goes. Wayne recording. That's a strange quest, uh, Mr. Jones. Did you say your name was? Jones is recording. Jones is right, Mr. Wayne, but strange or not. I must insist you come to my place for me now. Discuss the matter. Wayne recording. But why? Why can't we discuss it right here? Jones recording. Because, I, as explained before, I prefer to discuss... Such an important matter in my own home, or some neutral place, if you prefer. Wayne recording, you might, you think I might have spies around here? Joe's recording, just say I prefer to not to take chances. Wayne recording, I see, you know you amuse me. But Joe, you want to take me, want, don't, you don't want to take chances, but you don't hesitate to ask me to take them. You come here with your some cock ball story. Joe's recording, it's not a cock ball story, Mr. Wayne. I told you the truth. Wayne recording. Maybe, maybe not. Your name is Jones, but you have to must admit it sounds pretty fishy. I mean, telling me as little as you have, and asking me to go somewhere with you alone. How do I know you're not leading me to an ambush, Jones? Why should I? Wayne recording. Well, I'm pretty rich, you know. You may have some some idea in your head, Jones recording. That's sheer nonsense, Mr. Wayne. As you'll find out, I'll be wasting time. Will you come to my place? Wayne recording. Sorry, Mr. Jones. I feel I'm not a coward, but neither am I a fool. You have to tell me more, Kent. That's enough. Wayne. Recording. What? And if I refuse, Wayne recording. I don't go with you. Wayne, well, 
Do you recognise the guy Jones' voice? Do you know who he is? Kate, nope. Kate, well, no, shucks. Kate, and I know, but I know, I know definitely that I heard his voice before, Dick. Oh, I only could, if only I could place him. Well, enough. I'd like to place him too. At the end of my, f- of the f- of fist. Okay, well, you may get, may get the chance. Do you have a pair of shears, Dick? Right, uh huh. There's a pair right here in, the, in this drawer. Okay, right, right. Will you please let me have them? Rowan, sure. What do you want them for? Okay, I'm going to cut off the last 10 minute, 10 or 50 seconds of this white recording wire to put the way Joe, to part with Jones, tells Bruce he's Batman. Rowan, why? Okay, because I'm going to play this recording for several people. I don't think Bruce would want to learn his double identity. Do you? Well, I, mean, I should say he might not. Here are the shears. Okay, right, thanks. Well, I mean, look, who are you going to pay the recording to for, Mr. Kent? Kent, um, for the police department and for staff to play the panic. Maybe someone can help us identify Jones. Dry, Robin, swell idea. Kent, give me a hand for this spool of wire. Please, Dick, we've got to work fast. Okay, now, Mr. White, Lewis, Jim, you too, Breedy, listen carefully to this recording. Conversation between Bruce Wayne and a man he calls Jones. I think if you, you'll you see if you recognise Jones' voice. Why, right, Dick, turn on the machine. Well, here goes, Mr. Kent. Kent, listen now, all of you. Well, are you recording this? That's a strange request, Mr. Jones. You said your name was? Joe's recording. Rose is right, Mr. Kent. Strange or not, family voice fades. Bowen, well, nobody at either the police department or the Daily Planet would call, recognise Joe's voice. Kent, yes, Robin. Well, where do we go from here, Mr. Kent? Kent, gosh, I don't know, Dick. Let me think a minute, will you? Robin, go ahead. I'm afraid you have to do the thinking for both of us, because I'm upset my head's just going around in circles. Kent, only if he had some idea what he wanted with Batman, if only I could place his voice. Well, yeah, if. Kent, listen, now say listen, Dick. Inspector Henderson was going to have a fingerprint expert go over the study in your house. Have you heard from him yet? Oh, no, not yet. Do you want me to give him a ring? Kent, no. No, let's wait a, minute, a little while. Wait, when we have phone rings, Kent. Excuse Oh, oh, excuse me. Were you contact speaking? Oh, yes, Inspector. Did your fingerprint the man turn up anything? Oh, he didn't, huh? I was afraid of that. Yes, I'm listening. What? What did you say? Robin, what's up, Mr. Kent? It's Kent. Say that again, Inspector? No, no, but that's impossible. Robin, who? What is it, Mr. Kent? Kent. Just a minute, Dick. I couldn't believe it. You did, uh, you're, you're positive? I see you're right. Thanks, Inspector. Yes, you bet we will, we will, right? So long. Robin, what gives, Mr. Kent? Kent, plenty, but don't stop to ask questions now, but come with me. Robin, what is, where, what happened? Kent, I'm not sure, but neither. Inspector Henderson has gone crazy, or we have we have. Come on. Clark Kent and Dick Grayson, who's really Robin, have arrived at the Metropolis Auditorium, where a huge throng meals around the doors, trying to push their way into the already crowded building. There, Kent flashes his press card, and followed by Dick, as in the auditorium, he sits in the front row, directly below the empty flag, draped stage, voices murmur, Robin, Will you please tell me what this is about, Mr. Kent? Why are we here? What's going on? Kent, this stick is a mass meeting which was announced only this afternoon by an organization of selfish, bigoted people who oppose sending food and help to Europe. Robin, you mean the Marshall Plan? Kent, yes. That and other plan to help want all nations. Robin, then that's what we're doing here. I don't want to have anything to do with a bunch of selfish mugs dominant us to help those poor people. Kent, neither do I, Dick, but wait. Very nothing, nothing doing it. I, I want out. Kent, wait a minute. Robin, when Robert Batman and I were in Europe, 
We saw people living like animals without anybody to care about them. Kane, I know. If you just listen a moment, Dick, I can tell you why. Rowan, no, I won't. No, I won't listen. I don't want to be part of this meeting. Kane, now look. Robin, besides, I've got to find Batman. Kent, please, wait a minute. Robin, fading, excuse me, I've got... Kent, Dick, come back here and sit down. Robin, I won't, I won't let me go, Kent. Will you sit down, Batman's coming, going to be here. Robin, Batman, here? Kent, that's what Inspector Henderson said. The police department issued a permit for the meeting just before he called me. And it's just, get this, he's going to be, Batman's going to be the principal speaker. Robin, what? Kent, that's right, he's going to Robin. Are you kidding? Why, Batman wouldn't breathe the same air as this rotten crowd? Crowd of voices clapping, Kent. Oh, no, look, Robin, huh? What? Kent, look up there on the stage, look. Who's walking out to speak? Robin, Christopher Columbus, it's Batman. His eyes bulging, Robin looks up and the tall figure in the skin-tight costume, gloves, crepe, and... Bat like hood and mask and recognizes his companion Batman. Can it be to be Batman who is out who is out before the huge crowd to speak for a movement that which he, Robin and Superman, and other prone people were condemned as an un American selfish? What can this mean? Today's customers expect fast, personalized support. Intercom has the tools you need to deliver just that, efficiently, at any scale. Supercharge your team's productivity and make your customers super happy with Intercom. Learn more at intercom.com support.